And if you're unsure on where you're going, ask me and I'll give you a hand, okay? So I want you to do a little bit of independent driving on your own today. We'll give you feedback at the end when we park outside the test centre. However, if there's any rolling feedback that you want off me while you're driving, ask me and I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm. Okay, from this point onwards, continue going to the test center, but give me running commentary. Tell me what you're about to do next when you are doing a maneuver. When you're doing so, for example, if you are going to turn left and you are going to start your routine, I want to know at what point you're going to start your routine. So, tell me the next course of action from here. Okay, I'm going straight ahead. I'm okay, turn left. Okay, that's fine. This roundabout. Oh, yeah. I'm turning right. Okay. Like this, what would the speed limit be? Uh, 20. Mm -hmm. 20. <clears throat> and why would it be 20? Oh, no, no, it's not 20. Okay. Well, currently, what speed are we doing? 26 in the 30. So we're doing 26, yeah? 25, 26. Mm -hmm. And you've agreed with me that it's 20. No, no, it's 30. Okay, no, it's 30. So you're, are you unsure? I don't know, I've just not seen this school. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's 20 here. That sign that you can see there, is that with the road that's going in that road? The road that's going in the road. Is it going in that road, yeah? Yes. Is that how you've identified that sign? It's not a trick question, it's a genuine I mean, question. I didn't quite say, but I saw Paul, so... So, so that, that sign that you saw, is that an existing, or is that you entering? Entering the road. Okay. That's fine. So where we're going now? Um, Can you remember? So are we entering or exiting uh, 30? We're entering 30. Okay, so are we currently in a 40 or? No, it's a 20. Okay. So do you know the sign that you can see under the um, the warning sign? Mm -hmm. Is that you entering a 20 yes. or existing 20? Um, this is me entering a 20 now. Oh no, this is existing. It's the roundabout that is 30. Okay, so this is an existing. How do you know? How do you know you're not entering a 20 and it's an existing 20? You're correct. Mm -hmm. You're incorrect previously you are correct now so you are an existing 20 how do you how do you know the difference when I ask you to read the sign because that um, 30 I saw was for going to the roundabout okay and how do you know that this 20 isn't for the road that's on the left then are we turning right here by the way um, yeah 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 let's yeah. turn right here
take the next road on the right, please. Okay, so carrying the conversation on, how would you know that you are entering a 20 or you are in an existing 20? Um, <coughs> entering a 20, that would be the... Take the third the, road on the left, that's the first. And this is the second. Where the van is, please. Tell me when you notice a speed limit change, okay? When I notice now, or is it, are you talking when, about back when, then? when you notice a speed limit change, okay. that's a speed limit change. Uh, meaning this is the end of twenty. So. And how do you know that it's going into a thirty? Is it with a speed limit sign? Yeah. So, are you entering a thirty, or <coughs> are you? Is this an existing thirty? No, no, no. This is an existing twenty. Uh, how do you know the difference? Zone ends. At the end 20. of the road, turn left. So how would you know the difference? Can you be on the pole? Then how did you make the mistake on Tory Road? Go on, you're ready. Let's see. So here, that sign, that shows what? 20, 30, 50? 20, yeah? 20, yeah? Okay. That's telling you that you're going into a 20 or it is a 20. Take the next road on the right. Okay, my question. So, you're going down this road and you see a speed limit sign that shows 20. How do you know that you are entering a 20 or how would you know that you are in an existing 20? <coughs> there is a difference, there is, and I need to make sure you understand this for your driving test. For that particular road, I did see... Any road, road, any road park. Any road. Yeah. Well, it would be like um, residential areas, like that one, mm -hmm. and the road wouldn't be so wide, so mm -hmm. that's why that, that road was quite wide, so I felt it was a 30 mm -hmm. until I started seeing the <coughs> school. Oh, okay, so let, let, me, let me reword that. Uh, let me ask you a generic question, a general question. How would you know that you are in, that you are entering a 20 zone, a 20 miles at miles an hour area mm -hmm. or how would you know that you are in an existing 20 miles an hour area there is a difference part there is I'll just look for the signs really okay something now the problem you have with looking for a sign what's your brain telling you when you can't see the sign maybe it's a slow down no it doesn't it tells you to do something else mm -hmm. you did it today yeah what did it tell you to do your brain said something to you well, I was, um, well, I just imagined it was a 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your brain's telling you to revert back to the highest speed. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a way of telling whether you are in a 20 or a 30 or a 40 or a 50 or a 100. Well, not 100, but, you know, there is a way of telling. First of all, um, if, if I don't know whether you eat pizza. Uh, do you eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if I say to you, if you are going into... A speed limit, a high speed limit or a lower speed limit. 
the sign would be the size of a family size pizza okay so if you are entering a speed limit area that's different to the speed that you're at at the moment then the size of the sign as in the round disc will be the size of a family size pizza so let's say for sake of argument that big mm -hmm. yeah if you are in an existing speed limit it will be the size it will be the size of a single person's small pizza which is let's say for the sake of argument about 10 inches mm -hmm. yeah about that big yep yeah? so that sign that you see there that 20 sign there mm -hmm. is showing you that you are in an existing 20 not going into a 20 it means that the road that you're on is 20 it is not anything more now what i usually do is if i'm unsure i wait until i get to the end of the road i wait until i get to the end of the road and i scan at my eye level i look for a speed limit sign change i'm driving on a low speed yeah i keep the speed i'm traveling at whatever speed i'm traveling at i keep it at that speed until I get to the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Usually you'll find a speed limit change at the end of the road or at the start of a road. So it's usually where there's an intersection, a junction. That's where the speed limit occurs. Sometimes it's very rare, it happens mid-road, very rare. But it does happen on some roads in the middle, the speed limit changes. And it changes for the school, then at the end of the road, it changes the speed again. Yeah? Generally speaking, in built-up areas like this, it's 20. Generally speaking, that means it's not guaranteed, but generally speaking. But what you must do is, if you're unsure, maintain the speed that you're at, get to the end of the road, then scan, and you'll see a speed limit change. So when we went to the end of the road, the speed limit went back to 30. Mm -hmm. Then when we turned left, it went back to 20 mm -hmm. again. I, I recognised you understood that. But in terms of speed limits, they change. When they do change, you need to um, you need to be aware of them, and you need to travel at a reasonable pace with the speed limit that you're at, especially if the road's clear. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, you're driving. Um, there was a reason why I asked you um, when you signal, when you start your routine, and where you start your routine from. You actually drive pretty well. You do the routine that you're supposed to do, but just before your routine, check your mirrors. Just before you start the routine that you're about to start for whatever reason. So for example, when I say to you, okay, take the next road on left. Just before you start your mirror signal routine, look in your mirrors first. Look in your mirrors to see whether it's safe to do the routine you're about to apply. Then do the routine. Other than that, your driving was absolutely fine up to you. No issues. Only thing is, you know, when it comes to speed limit, the reason why I mention that to you is because if you go into an unfamiliar area, okay you need to respect the fact that look whatever speed that you thought you were at stay at that until you get to the end of the road mm -hmm. and the speed limit if it changes the speed limit sign will be at your eye level if you look in a straight line it'll be around here mm -hmm. and you'll see i mean like if you look down below you can see the speed limit sign there mm -hmm. now that will be on the road that you're on now so if this is let's say a 20 zone a 20 area mm -hmm. you might not see any, uh, see another sign but get to the end of the road and turn right and you may see over there mm -hmm. Does that make sense, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to go over your manoeuvres now, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to move off when you're ready and take the next road on the right. Mm -hmm. We're then going to go and do a couple of park up on the right as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So get yourself ready, move off when you're happy and take the next road on the right, please. Mm -hmm.